welcome to today's extra video. It's a q and A. I've been promising you guys. Um, before we get started, I want to say... Um, thank you so much for 902 questions. I asked you guys to leave us questions on Instagram. 902 people. Well, technically, it's only like 400 since people ask a lot of the same questions. Multiple questions. No, there are a lot of different people. Anyway, thank you for that. And also, thank you for 50,000 subscribers. That's amazing. Uh, we're blown away. I can't even believe it. It's just incredible. I just can't even believe it. 50,000 people subscribe to our channel and are interested in our videos. And that just blows me away. Like, on a whole other level. I can't even describe how blown away I am, but thank you so, so much. So let's get on with the video. We asked you guys to ask us questions and here are some of the ones that we picked. Equine underscore Eden wants to know, how old is Levi? Do you know how old Levi is? Three. Three. And there he is. He's like, I heard my name. Did you Same guys hear him? Ruby and Toby. Yeah, and Ruby, yes. Ruby is three and Toby is three and Levi is three. Three is our lucky number, I guess. Anyway, yeah, he is three. He's a baby in the bird world because uh, our Goffin cockatoos can live to be about 60 years old. So he is a baby. All that equine asks, would you rather ride a bareback or bitless for the rest of your life? Bitless. 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 Like, I got no muscles. <laughs> I have no muscles for bareback. I'm I, not doing bareback. I'm not jumping. But bareback. bareback would be really cool. I wish I could ride. Bear I'm back. not doing bareback because bitless would like include bridalist. That gray pony, um, and she spells pony P O N Y E H. So I'm wondering if she's Canadian. P -O -N -E -H. She says, she says, Gabby and Sophie, what's your favorite Lemieux saddle pad? Mirror. No, um, well, we all, I only have one. What's your favorite color of them though? Uh, the one that I have. I've always wanted that color. What I one want is that? A light blue? She has teal. A teal. And what one do you have? I want, I have a dark pink, but I would she has love hot pink. purple. My favorite color is the Dusty Rose one. Oh, I want that one so bad. That's the one that I want. That's the one that I know. So we have a problem, but fortunately we share the same horse, so we'll work out. Mom now gets one and Sophia wears it. Mom gets one and I take it over. I need a great one though. A lot of people ask this question. Pink sweater. Day by day vlog edits wants to know, when are you guys gonna be looking for a farm again? So I have not commented about this lately, um, so I definitely need to update you guys, but basically, um, uh, Sam wants to buy a farm without a mortgage. So the farms that we're looking at are a lower price and uh, they do not make me happy. So we decided to take this year until the spring and save up more money so we have more money to buy a farm because mama needs to be happy wherever we live. Danny W202 wants to know if the girls could only keep one of your saddle pads, which one would it be? Lemire. Lemieux. Hey Des Photography wants to know, would you guys ever consider getting in another bird? Don't answer. So I think that we're probably all on the exact same page here. So on the count of three, we're gonna all say our answer, okay? Would you ever consider getting another bird? Three, yes. three, two, one, yeah. no! <laughs> did you do that on purpose? No, I'll get a parrot. Yeah, she, she did that on purpose. We already have a parrot. Still. Um, yeah, okay, so well, Gabby and I are the same people. One bird per family he is- He loves me. More than enough. No more birds. He chases me around. He loves me. He wants to hang out with me on the couch and he just wants to eat my headphones. And your feet. And he doesn't leave me alone. Okay, so this next question um, was asked so many times by so many people. Equine Maggie 77 wants to know, would you guys ever consider getting a new horse for Laura? And the answer is... A new horse is, for me. I don't know. Heck there's, yeah. There's, I could train it yeah. to jump. There's so many variables with this question. That's why I never answer it because we just don't know yet. Number one. I, Sophia has a horse and she's only almost nine years old and she still needs help with her horse. Sometimes, especially in the winter, she doesn't want to ride and she's young still. So I kind of take over the slack for Sophie and that's why we kind of share a horse. So then that would mean that 
Um, and moving forward, if I got a horse right now, we'd have three horses and Gabby and I would be kind of in charge. And um, number two, we don't know what's happening with Phil as health. So far, she's doing great. She's she's improving. She's she's doing well. Um, but we don't know if she's ever gonna get to jump. And I don't need to jump. I don't. It doesn't matter if I jump. Maybe Stella will end up being my horse if that's not a possibility for her. Yeah. And then Sophie will need a jumper. And so there are so many variables. But at the moment, absolutely not. I am not ready for a horse just because we have two horses between three riders. The only time I really miss having a horse and wish I had a horse is when the girls want to do trail rides and I wish I could go and ride along with them. Like so that that would be... her a lease. You can just lease it what days you want. Yeah, I need to like borrow a horse, rent a horse. Yeah. Nadina Pony 2006. Um, she says, when you guys got Stella, why did you pick her? Was there a connection? This is no hate. Of course it's no hate. You're just curious. Um, so um, this is a big question too for a lot of you guys. Um, when we got Stella, she was lame and people were like, what the heck are you doing? Why did we get Stella? Do you know why we picked Stella? Her personality. Stella? Her personality. Yeah, like we searched a lot of horses. We tried a lot of horses. There were like amazing jumpers. Okay, we never tried an amazing jumper. Who am I kidding? Like we could not find Do we good. Have? Did we? We could not find good uh, kids. A horse that never like um, refused to jump. Yeah. But it was like 17 hands. Yeah, like it, it's it was a really really hard search for us, and our main um, priority was a kid friendly horse. And Stella had an amazing personality. She was headed for a really bad place, and it was a leap of faith. We took a leap of faith, and we didn't know she had any other issues. The issues that she has, all we knew was that the farrier had been cut her her. Um, it hooks, hooks way too so short, short. Um, but we took a leap of faith and we suspect that she might have other issues and she does and that's okay what are you doing I'm trying to get him oh that's awesome she's like standing with her butt halfway up the up the bed she's not even sitting okay so uh, yeah it was a leap of faith um it was because of her personality we wanted to take her and we knew that there were chances that she wouldn't be good for us in the end, health-wise, or what we wanted, but we took her anyway because I firmly believe every um, animal has a value, every, every person has a value, and she has changed our lives and enriched our lives in many, many, many ways, and what we do in the future is unknown to us at the moment, but we're happy to have her. Are you happy to have Stella? And we're going to have this amazing jumper. Um, are Called you, Stella. We don't know if Stella will ever be able to jump. We have two horses, three riders. One can jump and one cannot. So um, when Sophie when, when Sophie has a jumping lesson, she'll be jumping Storm, and that's that's just the way our family is going to be. Unless my horse can jump. Yeah, that's just how it's going to work out. We do have a horse that she can jump on, and that's the most important thing. So Georgia the Equestrian, I love this question. I picked it because it was so funny to me. How did you feel, this question is for Laura, how did you feel when you were cantering and then Storm decided to go over the jump? And I have a picture of it. If I can find it, I'll put it right here so you guys can see. Essentially, I was trying to get Storm to canter, and he was fed up with me because I did not know what I was doing, and my name was not Gabby, and he did not want me on him anymore. So he tried to convince me that I wasn't having so much fun. So he started cantering, did a big huge detour. He decided to go over some trot poles, but he did just not canter over the trot poles. He decided that he was going to take me for a little jump and he flew over them like they were an oxer, big huge jump, and I was in a western saddle holding on for dear life and I'm screaming. <laughs> screaming, yeah. Her mouth was like this over the jump. She's like <laughs> yeah, my eyes are closed and at that moment when I landed it felt amazing exhilarating so fun so cool like when she I want I want to jump again like I'm excited for a time when I can practice jumping because it was fun um, when she landed when I landed no I, I just was nervous about what was gonna happen like I didn't know what was happen I, happening I, I didn't I didn't even know I jumped like it was fun Anyway, that was the one time that the, our instructor actually got me in trouble and she said, you know, stop screaming. Screaming will help <laughs> screaming you. Screaming will help you. And um, yeah, and ever since that day I've vowed to not scream, although I did scream in yesterday's video one time in, for one second. Okay, a last question you guys. Bucking underscore horse one two three wants to know when are you guys going to the royal winter fair so actually i need to look that up in a short time you said on the seventh yeah i think it's the seventh it's almost my birthday just letting oh. you guys know 
yeah, I think it is the 7th. Sophia's birthday is October 20th, and it's just after that, which is unfortunate because I really would like, oops, which is unfortunate because I'd really like to buy all her birthday presents at the Royal Winter Fair. I'm gonna have to double check, but I think it is November the 4th is the time that we're gonna go. It's the very first Saturday of the show, and uh, we were gonna sleep over, but then we got a bird, so now we will not be sleeping over, and we're gonna be getting a babysitter for him. So I think it's October, um, November the 4th, we're gonna be going, and we're super excited, and if you guys are gonna be there, then we're really excited to see you guys. That is it for this Q&A. Thank you guys so much again for 50,000 subscribers, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.